scientific method cannot justify the scientific method. Therefore, it itself is a dogmatic religious presupposition. What's up, guys? Andre here. I'm going to show you how to change a hard drive in the Asus X550Z. Um, any of those lines, any of this line should be similar. And I have been messing with this one all day, so I already have a lot of screws out. But you're going to want to take the screws out the back. I will put some images in. Um, all right, so. Normally when you're taking this cover off, it's kind of hard to pry at first, so you want to get something to pry it apart right here. And I usually use this, something like this, a little piece of plastic, stick it in, go all the way around with it. that on both sides if you if you have to and then pops open and when you lift this up the keyboard you're gonna see there's three ribbons connected to the motherboard and all you gotta do it's pretty easy there's some little clips. You just flip them up and I'll post some pictures. Flip that one up. Let me get an angle here. Pull it out real easy. Don't have to yank on it. And then this bigger one here in the middle has these little clips on the side which I will post a picture you just push it out or push it towards the back and then easily come out and this one's taped down onto the motherboard so you can just lift it you're not gonna break anything just lift it out there you go so that's the keyboard off and now, normally, your hard drive, right here, is going to be in the rails, which I will be putting back on, but I've been messing with this all day, so I don't have the rails on. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but if you're just working on it, and you want to plug in the hard drive real quick, it should be okay. There's another ribbon cable here, flip up the plastic, pull that ribbon out. It's attached to the hard drive with some tape. It's no problem. Um, then you just slide this hard drive out and there you go, it's off. And then you just want to grab your new hard drive and you are going to put it in the rails like that grab oh I forgot to mention that you're gonna need this little screwdriver of course if you didn't already realize that uh, going to be necessary of course and you're just going to screw this rail on each side of the hard drive all right and that's it your rails are on you can lift this ribbon set your hard drive in place and then just slide it into the connector. Right. 
And there you go, hard drive is in. Uh, you can put this ribbon back in. When you're putting the ribbon back on, it should just really easily slide up into it and kind of stay in place. If it doesn't, then you're not putting it in right, probably. Once it's there, just flip that switch back down. And then, uh, I also forgot to mention, you probably want to keep your screws in a little cap. Keep them organized. And yeah, get your little screws back down on the rails here. And when you do this, uh, make sure the screw holes are going to line up before you tighten it down all the way because sometimes it'll sit funny and then you can't get the last screw in. So if that happens, you just need to unscrew one side a little bit. I think that just happened to me right now. Need to take my own advice. And I'm gonna lose a screw. Like I said, if it doesn't line up, unscrew one side a little bit and you should be able to move it in play. All right. Hard drive's in, connect ribbons are back on. So then all you do is place the, or line up your keyboard back up here. And you're going to want to pull this up and put the cables back in. So this one, when the clips are pushed out, when you slide this one in, it should push the clips back down. So. Once it's in, it's in. Sorry, you couldn't probably see that. These ones, again, when you put them back in, it should just slide right in and then flip the switch down. Should just go in really easy. If it doesn't, then you're not lining it up right. Could be a little tricky at first until you get used to it. All right. And that's that. You snap your keyboard back down and put all your screws back in and it should be good to go.